Well, here I am, surrounded by things I love, my cleaners. Hello. This one's called Debbie. Debbie Dasket. I'm not that. I'm not that mad. No, I really am not. No, I don't think of them as uh, living things. You know, um, I don't take them to bed with me. I don't cuddle them. Uh, but I do admit, when I was a a little kiddie, apparently I used to take toy toy cleaners to bed with me. But now I have doggies like Solo, who has come out to see what I'm up to. Hello, darling. Come here. Come here. Is your master up to his these funny ways again? Is he? Has he got all these all these cleaners out? Oh yes. I bet that's what Sue's thinking at this moment. Oh, boring. Right then, the time is... Oh, it's coming up to 10 o'clock, so... On a Saturday evening. Tomorrow, my mummy and daddy will be back about 5-ish. Well, no. I think they said about 7. I want to have this all finished by 5, because my dad doesn't know that I know about the little camera. So I don't want him to know I know, so I've got to have it all packed up. All fully charged up and put away by the time they get home. So tomorrow I have such delights for you as the famous Aquatronic commercial, some more music, I'll have a few comedy sketches performed by me and by the experts, Bench and Saunders, um, I'm just going to burp, hang on. There. Bench and Saunders, um, Naked Video, it's bits and bobs are my favourite sketches, and I'm sure you'll like them too. And, oh, I sound like Lloyd Grossman again. Remote control. But any road up, as they say up north, as I'm always saying in my letters, which are boring, I know they're boring. But I'll be signing off now, because I'm a bit tired. I want to have a bit of a relaxation. I want to watch a bit of telly. And, um... I'm all alone. Ooh, I've locked the back door. Oh. No. Ah. Oh. I wish. I wish this house, this lovely house, was mine. I wish my mum and dad weren't here. Get rid of them. And I wish all the bills were paid automatically, and I just have to live here and get everything supplied, like I am now, without having to pay a penny. Wouldn't that be bliss? And I could spread my hoovers out all around the house which I do frequently. Hello, what's this? I'll show you my favourite. I ended up this quite recently from Trimag. Here it is. It's a lovely little machine, lovely shape, variable speed control. Oh, it's heavy. Automatic flex rewind. Oh, you must be bored to death. I am absolutely fascinated by these and I can talk about these for years and years as you've probably known I think you've gathered from my letters but I cannot help it they are absolutely great what more can I say anyway what are we need to mind? as I said more music comedy chat fun and games now if I knew you better than I know you although I do know you quite well through your letters but I have sent audio recordings to my friends, and if you heard them, they are absolutely disgusting as far as smut is concerned. And if they were played on any radio station, the radio station would close down, because I've got quite a dirty sense of humour, actually. Um, a bit rude, but never mind. There is one, one radio presenter on... Uh, TFM, which is Newcastle Way, Metro, uh, somewhere, I don't know. I don't think you're better to pick it up anyway, but he's very rude on the radio. It's a late night phone in. You have people phoning in about the. Oh, I'm sorry. I do go on, don't I? Hey? Same time, my little baby. Chris, I'm all tired now and I want to sleep. Is. Uh oh. Hang on a minute, Sue. There's somebody at the door. Let's have a look who it is. <laughs> Let's see who's at the door. Come in. Oh, it's you, is it? Come on, then. Come here. Come on, honey. Let's have a look. Come here. Come and say hello to Sue. Come on. 
Oh. Now this one, if I can keep her still, is Sasha. And Sasha likes nothing better than my gibberish. Hello, now put that skin on and the boom. It's tough for that, but it's silly, bully, but that one Now, I call her Sash, Sasha. And when I feel as if she's a good girl, I say, Hello, Sash, Bash, Cash, Wajee. Say hello to Sue, Sashi. This is Sash, she's the second youngest. Recently, I didn't tell you in one of my letters, she had a fit. And my mum was in tears nearly, wasn't she? Well, she was. She was in tears. All of a sudden, she collapsed in the kitchen floor. And she was all dithering and, and her eyes clouded over and her head was really hot. And we called the vet and we talked to the vet, didn't we? While you were on mummy's knee. And then you want, she wanted to be let down off the sofa from her mum's knee. And then she just got up, ran about, played with the ball as if nothing had happened. So it was, it was rather upsetting, but you, you're better now, aren't you? But we took it to the vet the next day, didn't we? You know, they checked over. We think it was a fit. Now then, Solo, if you had a ground, she's a grumpy one. She bosses everybody about. Turn you, darling. So anybody out there? I'll show you little Gemma and Suki tomorrow, along with the rest of the house, a bit of the back garden. I won't go out the front garden, because the nosy old so-and-so over the road will go, Oh, that's nice. What have you got there? Oh, can I have a go? <sighs> And I don't want that to happen, to be quite honest. I'm s sorry, do I sound a bit posh? I don't mean to. Oh, does your mum? What my mum has a, a habit of doing, when she answers the phone, now she normally speaks, she doesn't speak with a Yorkshire accent, because, well, she's a Yorkshire lass, she's from Leeds, but she speaks normally, you know, you know, southern. But when she answers the phone, it's, Seven or eight, six, seven, four. Oh. It's, it's, she doesn't know she's doing it, but it's, she puts on a voice, and it's quite funny to hear. I don't know if your mum or dad puts on a voice when they answer the phone. I just answer it. So, once, I, you know, phone man picked up and said, Carl, if you're just speaking, can I help you? Which is what I say when people ring me up. I absolutely loathe that job. Keep your fingers crossed that I've got the job at Inside Story. By the time you receive this recording, I may have, you know, received news that I've got the job or haven't got it. And if I haven't got the job, if I don't get the job, you know what, you know what I'm going to do to you? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get my my little hand and, and, and strangle you and pull your head off. I would. Oh, she's very concerned, as you can see. Yes. Hey, Sashi. You're clever. You're one of the cleverest dogs, aren't you? You're not the sweetest, because Gemma's the sweetest. But you're certainly the cleverest doggy we've got. Aren't you? Eh? You sweet. My sweet little mystery. Jesus. Could you catch that? Could you catch that? I don't know if Sue saw the kiss. Kiss, kiss. I love my doggies. I love you. I do, you know. Aww. Ah, I think. With any luck, this might be a dog here. Yeah? Gemma! Gemma, baby! Gemma! Come on! I don't know. I don't know if there's anything I can show you of any interest. Um, let's have a think. Have a look in here. No, it's not that interesting. Anyway, as I said, I'll show you around my house tomorrow. Show you the garden shed and the greenhouse. And the outside drain, uh, the toilet, the dishwasher, washing machine, etc, etc. In fact, what I'll do, I don't do this for everybody, but what I'll do, I'll have the camera set up for when I wake up. And I'll record me. I'll record myself, what I look like when I'm just out of bed. Now, I don't know if it will damage the camera, which, I mean, I'm not, I don't look very good on film, because I've looked at myself and I think, my God, what a crack. 
but that's life, you know. We can't all all look like um, a model, male model. But then again, or modesty apart, I mean, I think I am slightly better looking than Derek Jameson, and certainly better looking than Mike Morris with the old broken nose. I don't know what you see in him, so I really don't. And I'm certainly better looking than who else? Let's think. It's a children's television presenter who's absolutely ugly. Tommy Boyd, uh, he's a bit ugly. Yeah. But anyway, I am not the best looking in, in the world at my sash, but looks don't really matter. No, they don't. It's the person inside, isn't it, Sashi? That's a very cliched phrase. I knew. Kiss, kiss. Come on. Kiss, kiss. Up we come. Hello. Oh, I, I keep I keep meaning to go, but I keep wanting to perform in front of the camera. Do 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 do. No, don't worry, don't worry. I won't inflict my body on you. Not yet, anyway. Right then, I'm going to crawl over to the camera, press the little button on the side that says fade, and I will fade out, and then I will reappear fresh in the morning, ready to entertain you. Uh, let me think. Normally performers have some sort of a song at the end, don't they? Uh, but I can't sing, but I will, just to prove that you're a good singer and I'm not. Now what shall I sing at the end of my show? The time has come for me to take my bows leave the stage. <laughs> but I feel I'm just beginning. There's so many things I want to say before I go. But I'll be back to sing again. <laughs> so I Sash. That's it. What a noise. I've got no talent whatsoever. Well, that's, that hasn't stopped Jonathan Ross, has it? Anyway, over I come. See you tomorrow, where I will entertain you further with my boring, dull life. Oh, dear. Ooh. Oh, not too close. Not too close. I'm not a pretty sight. Bye-bye, then. Nighty-nighty. Da da da, da da da, da 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 da. <sighs> oh, hello. It's now oh Sunday morning, and as you can see, I'm a bit worse for wear. I've got me world's best sun mug. And the Daily Mail, Mail on Sunday, already. And I've got a little visitor here. Come here, you. This one, oh, if you can see her, that's my little gem. Oh. <laughs> now today, when I came downstairs, now I only have Gemma Solo and Suki, uh, Gemma Solo and Sasha in my bed. Don't I? I don't. <sighs> ooh, I don't have Suki. But she's the old one and she likes to be downstairs. So, what do I find when I come downstairs? A great big pile of diarrhoea, don't I? Suki. Fortunately, she didn't do it in the living room, it was in the kitchen, so it wasn't so bad, was it? But it's not the sort of thing I like to clean up first thing in the morning. I don't like cleaning it up at the best of times, do I, Gemma? Yes. Ooh, Gemma, Gemma, Gemma. Mwah, little tummy wummy. So, it's sun. I mean, it's just past ten past. Well, it's not even ten past eight yet, which is very unusual of me to get up at this time. But I thought, well, I'll make a cracking start. I was woken up anyway by Suki. So, yeah. I thought, well, I might as well get up and you know get dressed as you. Well, I'm not just yet, but uh, am I, Gemma? Isn't, is Roger talking to himself again? Did you 
going mad? Yes, he is. He's going mad. He's bonkers, is that Roger? He's bonkers. Oh. <laughs> you want to sit up there? You like it up there, don't you? Whoopsie daisy. That's it. That's it. Oh. You sit up there when I read the paper. Don't you want to? No. no. Right, let's see what's in the news today on TV AM. TV RL. Mm -hmm. It's quite good. This is our own TV show. And you look at the pictures in the papers. I can't read, you see. I just have a look at the pictures and the adverts on the stars and, and Fred Bassett. That's all I look at anyway. It's, uh... Oh, and the TV pages, of course. I prefer the U magazine. Oh, what, what about this about Frank Both Sex and drugs and old men in cardigans, it says here. Oh, my God. Well, I mean, it serves me right. <laughs> oh, look, let's see if we've won the Daily Mail mail code. No, my postcode isn't there. Nope. Da -da -da -da. I'm surprisingly bright and cheerful for this time of morning. Possibly because I'm not at work. That's probably why. Not a lot in here. Not a lot. Sports pullout. No. Boring sports pullout. Pass that rubbish. Sport. I hate it. Boring. 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 Let's see what's on telly today then. They always put things for handicapped people on and religious programs and things like that, don't they, on a, on a Sunday. I don't know why it's reserved for Sunday, but they do. Songs of Praise, oh my. Well, there's only one relatively good program on there. That's, that's Life, it isn't too bad. Um, let's see, BBC Two. Oh, that's fascinating. Nothing on BBC Two. Let's see what's on Time Tees. Adventures of, oh, Adventures of Teddy Ruxpin, my favourite. Oh, I'll have to watch that, 9.35. Oh, Get Fresh, oh, great. Yes, well, that's all. Nope. And um, what's on Yorkshire? Oh, Teddy Ruxpin again. Charlie's Angels, oh, I might watch that. Is that on a Sunday? Oh, I'll watch that, because I used to watch that when I was a little kiddie. And that's about it. Oh, what's on Channel 4? Network 7. Oh, God. <laughs> I hate the presenters on that program. Possibly because I'm jealous. Uh, well, that's all that's on, really. Not a lot, is there, Gemma? Not a lot. <laughs> Matt, oh, here's my stars for today. Ah, uh, now your stars. I'll read your stars for this week, which will probably be last week by the time we get this. You will be... Um, you're Cancer. Yes, you are. Yeah, yeah. There are some major professional issues to be faced, and it may also be necessary to take a tougher line over home affairs. Nevertheless, you should be free to branch out in a new direction. Aha, uh -huh, that means your own personal recording contract with Mandy, of course. Involvements abroad are highlighted by beneficent planetary influences this week, and it may well be that in the months ahead your greatest successes will occur in a different environment. Load of rubbish, isn't it? But you've got to laugh anyway. Here's mine, Gemini. Matters of a financial or business nature must be set aside for a while for two very good reasons. First, because no amount of cash can buy what is being offered to you. Ooh. Ah, kinky. And second, because before June uh, is quite over, you need to realise just how protected you are and will be if you continue on your chosen course, even if you feel out of touch with a partner or loved one at the moment. Well, I don't understand that, but, sir. Uh, then I wouldn't. 
because I'm a thick overall. I don't like your bum in my face, Jem. Mm -hmm. But you're lovely and I don't really mind. Well, there's nothing in that. Let's see what's in the magazine. Oh, boy. Right, don't look. I'm sorry. I'm not going to have a shave today, but uh, I look a mess. I tell you what, Sue. You leave me. You leave me to finish reading these in peace, and I'll give you a few comedy sketches. Okay. Let's have it. Let's do a bit of exercising. Oh, do, do, do. That's enough. Right. I'll see you later, Sue. And there we are. There's little Gemma there, looking as sweet as sugar plum pie. Let's have a close-up. Hello, Gem. Right, I'll fade out, and I'll have some comedy sketches to entertain you. Bye. Miss, could we have a window open in here, please? It's really hot.